Welcome to Cognition Chunks and thank you for joining us. This is What's Your Angle? A Beginner's Guide to the Life of Pythagoras. Picture this, a sun-drenched island near Turkey, in the Aegean Sea, over two millennia ago. A young boy with insatiable curiosity is pondering the nature of the universe. Little did he know, he was about to crack open the door to a treasure trove of wisdom that would shape the world for generations to come. We're talking about Pythagoras, the mathematician philosopher mystic, whose ideas have stood the test of time, rocketing from the scrolls of antiquity to your geometry textbooks and even into your favorite playlist. So, grab your protractors and tuning forks, as we embark on an exhilarating journey through a world of right angles, harmonic scales, and esoteric wisdom. Buckle up, it's going to be a thrilling ride into the Pythagorean theorem. The Enigmatic Life of Pythagoras, the Man Behind the Theorem Ah, Pythagoras! An iconoclastic intellect born on the island of Samos, who couldn't sit still. In his zest for knowledge, he crisscrossed the ancient world, soaking up wisdom from Babylon to Egypt like a papyrus scroll in a deluge. Young Pythagoras wasn't just a numbers guy, he was more like the world's first interdisciplinary guru, a renaissance man before there was a renaissance to be a man in. Travels of a renaissance man before the renaissance Can you imagine spending 22 years in Egypt, then sauntering off to Babylon. That's not a gap year, that's a gap lifetime. He was the Indiana Jones of math and spirituality, unearthing arcane rituals and mathematical marvels. And let's not forget his stint with the Magi, the OG wizards. This guy was living out a fantasy novel, only without the dragons. Or were there? Pythagorean Brotherhood Hogwarts before Hogwarts. Fast forward, and Pythagoras establishes his Pythagorean Brotherhood. It's like Hogwarts, but instead of waving wands, they were scribbling equations and debating the ethical implications of beans. Yes, you heard it right, beans. Pythagoras had a thing against them, calling them the trapdoors to Hades. Imagine Voldemort as a bean. That would make for a rather leguminous horcrux, wouldn't it? The Inventions, the Greatest Hits of Pythagoras Now on to the meat, or should I say, the geometrically perfect tofu, of the matter, his theories. The Pythagorean theorem isn't just some random equation your geometry teacher uses to torment you. This formula governs everything from architecture to satellite launches. And get this, Pythagoras was probably jamming to the music of the spheres before Johannes Kepler was even a twinkle in his great-great-great-great-grandmother's eye. He believed the planets were like a cosmic boy band, each belting out a harmonic note. The Curious Case of Musical Blacksmiths it's said that he discovered his theory of harmonics by eavesdropping on blacksmiths. That's like Beethoven finding inspiration from a garbage truck backing up. It's absurdly hilarious, but profoundly impactful. Number Theory, The Social Lives of Numbers Pythagoras thought numbers had personalities. I mean, who hasn't looked at the number seven and thought, yeah, you're a bit of an outsider, aren't you, or at six and realized, ah, you're just too perfect. If numbers were people, the prime numbers would be those reclusive geniuses too unique to blend in, kind of like Sherlock Holmes. The widespread influence, from triangles to transcendence. But don't just take my word for it. Whether you're plucking a guitar string or launching a satellite into space, Pythagoras has left his mark. He's the original influencer, only instead of selling tummy tea, he's selling the foundations of modern thought. The man, the myth, the mathematician. 
When it comes to this mathematician, see what I did there, the lines between fact and fiction, science and spirituality, are as blurry as the last digit of pi. And that's what makes Pythagoras a legend for the ages. Wow, what an odyssey we've been on, traversing the corridors of history, swinging by secret brotherhoods, jamming to the music of the cosmos, and, let's not forget, proving some math equations that are anything but square. Whether you're a musician tuning your guitar or an astronaut calculating the distance to Mars, the Pythagorean theorem is your unwavering guide, a beacon of intellectual achievement that spans across disciplines. But as we wrap up this intellectual journey, let's not forget the man behind the math. Pythagoras was more than just equations and theorems, he was a revolutionary who dared to envision a world that danced to the rhythm of numbers and geometry. His life was as complex as the equations he solved, filled with mystery, spirituality, and, yes, a strange aversion to beans. We hope you've enjoyed this roller coaster of a lesson, and who knows, perhaps you're the next Pythagoras in the making, ready to unveil the secrets of the universe, just remember to skip the bean salad. So the next time you have to calculate the hypotenuse or find yourself bopping to a tune, give a little nod to Pythagoras. You never know, he might just be listening from another life, critiquing your math skills and musical taste all while avoiding a bean burrito like it's the plague. Thank you for embarking on this odyssey of angles and antiquity. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, the world isn't just round, it's also mathematically harmonious. Remember to like and subscribe for more Cognition Chunks.